Hi, I'm Sarah Moran with Equity Title Biltmore Office. And in addition to being the Business Development Manager for the Biltmore Office, I'm also a Certified Flex MLS Trainer. So we're going to take a look at creating a CMA in Flex MLS. So the first thing that you need to do is have your properties already selected or the search results at least showing. So I'm just going to pull up an, uh, an old search and uh, we're going to pretend um, that these are this would be an actual CMA. So um, I am just from here going to go ahead and select uh, four properties here. And then I'm going to click on the CMA button in the top right hand corner. There are several options. Um, you'll see that you can use all the results, use the selected results, or you have the option of the one-click CMA. You can get the statistical buyer CMA um, either uh, in the online version or in a PDF. So I'll just show you what it looks like when we click on that. Um, it's very uh, simple information just about the statistical market analysis and then our active listings um, based on what our search parameters were. I can either email this CMA or I can print it. So I'm just going to click back into um, the search results here and I'm going to click on CMA again and I am going to just uh, this time use the selected results. From here I can choose a full, a quick, or a statistical which is what we just saw and then I can use my stati statistical average field and we're going to change that to price per square foot. I'm going to use the full CMA and I'm going to click next step. Here's my cover page. I can change anything on here. If I don't want it to say comparable market analysis, I can change that. And then I can put my uh, seller's name here. Um, I have this other information I can uh, choose and then I can also put in comments if I'd like. Next, I can click on the next tab which is subject or I can go to the bottom to next step. Once we're here, this is where we need to enter our property information. If you're going on a listing presentation, this information is not already in the MLS under your name. However, if this was a previous listing in the MLS by another um, uh, agent, you can uh, go to auto populate, populate fields from existing listing and then you'll just need to have that MLS number available and then it will auto populate all of these fields. Since we don't I'm just going to make up an address and um, use uh, a, a fake property and this is sort of in our area. We're going to go ahead and just fill out bedrooms, bathrooms, approximate square footage, uh, approximate lot size, uh, maybe I don't know that. I can just click on the X here. Um, so anything that I would want to put in here I can I can do. Um, I can also change the order if I wanted the approximate square footage to be at the top. I simply click on this arrow and then I can move that all the way to the top. And this is the order it's going to appear in your report. I can also add a new item if I wanted to add a new item and it would give me space to select which item I wanted. I can also remove and I can save that as a template. So um, once I complete that info, oh I can also upload a photo if I wanted, if I had a photo snapped. So next step is the comps. It is going to say locate this property. This is the address I gave it. I'm going to say use that location. Then when my comps come up, I can add any comps. I can again change them. I can look at um, other information or I can delete them at this point. I want to go to next step. This is going to be any adjustments. Um, people have different opinions about whether or not you should include adjustment, adjustments for things such as maybe a carport versus an enclosed garage or a pool, those kinds of things. Anything that you want to make in a, as an adjustment, you can there. Your next step is going to be the summary. So this is just showing you um, overall uh, the, the analysis. And finally, you have your recommendation. This is giving you the uh, low, high, and the recommended listing price for the subject property. You can change that to whatever you want. And then our last step is to finish. We can um, choose which, of, uh, which items that we want to print. Um, and then I can email, save, view, print, or create the PDF. So um, why don't we just go ahead to view, and as you can see, the entire report is here.